Okay, this is sample problem 10.14. Calcium metal reacts with water to produce hydrogen gas. Calcium solid reacts with two moles of H2O liquid to form one mole of calcium hydroxide aqueous and one mole of hydrogen gas. Determine the mass of H2 produced at 25 degrees Celsius and 0.967 atmospheres when 525 milliliters of the gas is collected over water is shown in figure 10.14. So the idea here is that you take a little test tube, you put some calcium metal in there, usually you want it as a powder or pieces, you pour some water in there, they react, produces hydrogen gas, so what you do is you take a tube, connect that tube, Put the tube into the bottom of a water trough. So you put water in here. So you have a little opening in here. And then you have another test tube or some sort of container upside down. So it's closed off at the top. And what happens is the hydrogen gas will move up to the tube and start getting collected in here. And you can do a water di water displacement method, which is kind of cool, where essentially you, you fill up the tube with water at the beginning, put it in upside down, and then the pressure of the hydrogen gas will push the water out. So you essentially have levels of hydrogen gas inside that tube, okay? So what do they do? They tell us the volume of that hydrogen gas is um, a lot, 525 milliliters. So 0.525 liters. Remember, you divide it by 1,000 to go from milliliters to liters. Okay, so there's your volume. We would normally say, look, if we want to find out the mass of H2, let's find the moles of H2 first from the ideal gas law and then just convert moles to mass. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So the issue here, however, is that when we use the ideal gas law, we can't use the 0.967 atmospheres. And the reason for that is that when you collect a gas over water, water, which is inside the tube, the, the tube is completely filled with water at the beginning, but even at the end, there's still some water up down here at the bottom. That water produces a vapor, humidity, right? The air is humid. And so there will be some water vapor in that container. So what happens is when the atmospheric pressure equilibrates with the pressure in here, the pressure of the gases in here have to equal the pressure out there. So that means the total pressure, which is 0.967 atmosphere, that's going to be equal to the pressure of the hydrogen plus the vapor pressure of the water. So that means if you want to know what the pressure of the hydrogen gas is, which we would call the dry pressure, meaning without the pressure of the water, you would take the total pressure and subtract the vapor pressure of the water. So that would be 0.967 atmospheres minus whatever the vapor pressure is. How do we figure out what the vapor pressure is? Well, it turns out vapor pressure is, is affected by temperature, and people have tabulated va values. So you would look this up in a table. There are vapor pressure tables for all kinds of materials, all sorts of liquids. Um, but water is the most common one, okay? So if we look at that 25 degrees C and you look that up, it's 0 0.0313, okay? So that means the pressure of the dry hydrogen is 0.967 minus 0 0.0313. So that's 
three, five, I guess, atmospheres. Okay, so now that's the pressure you can use in the ideal gas law, okay? So we want to find the mass of H2, so we want the moles of H2. PV over RT, right? So 0.935, that's the pressure. The volume is 0.525. R is 0.08206, and then T is 298.15. And that'll give you the moles of H2. So 935.525 divided by 0.08206 divided by 298.15. So it looks like it's 0 0.0201. So 2.01 times 10 to the minus 2. OK. Now if we want to convert that to grams, hydrogen is 2.02 .02 grams per mole. That's the molar mass. So multiply that answer by 2.02, .02 and you get 0 0.0406. So 4.0, I'm sorry, 4.05 times 10 to the minus 2. And there's your mass. Okay. So that is the collection of a gas over water. If it's collected over water, you have to subtract the vapor pressure of the water at that temperature. So if this were done at 35 degrees Celsius, we would have to look that up in a table, the vapor pressure, and it would be higher than 0.0313 atmospheres. Okay.